So Heather Cuesta here. This is week three, assignment two. We're drawing rectangular prisms in three-point perspective, in worm's eye view and bird's eye view. So Lisa, you understand the basic concept here that worm's eye view is looking up underneath and bird's eye view is looking down on top of the prisms. Okay, um, Lisa, you're starting off pretty well. Right here, this one, this shape right here is correct. We're getting a little confused on some of these others, so let me go through those with you. But this one right here, use this as your benchmark. Try to try to mimic what you did here with these other shapes, and you're, you'll be all set. But uh, let me just kind of show you what's going on here. Okay, in this shape right here, this corner right here that's closest to you, the viewer, that's the one that you initially match up to all these vanishing points, just as you have right here. Okay, and then you just build your shape right off that initial corner. Okay, we have all our all of our guidelines in now. Let me just switch to another color to make it easier to see. Okay, now um, for your side wall here, you start at this bottom guideline, match it up to the top. And same thing for the other side, start at the bottom guideline match it up to the top vanishing point. Okay, and there's the left side of our rectangular prism and the right side. And then we have to put in the bottom. So you match up the corners to opposite vanishing points. Kind of do a crisscross there. And there's the bottom of your, your rectangular prism. It's connected to all three vanishing points. Okay, let's, let's um, turn this off and Let's try this again with one of these other shapes. Okay, this shape right here, this is the corner you should be working from, but as you can see, this is not responding to that vanishing point. Same thing is going on here. This is the corner, the corner closest to you, and that's the one that you build all of the other shapes off, and it should match up to this vanishing point. Same thing here. This corner right here should match up to this vanishing point, everything to this one vanishing point. This one even looks like it's perhaps tilted a little off to this side when it should also match up to this vanishing point. Okay, everything, that first corner is all going right to the top there in your bird's eye, in your worm's eye view. So let's erase that, let's fix up one of these shapes here. Okay, let's just start with this one on the far left. Okay, so your corner shape here, match it up to your vanishing point. We're establishing the height here. I'm just working off the, the height that you've already established right here. Okay, so let me just fill that in blue. Here's that little edge that you've already established for us along this line right here that you already had in place. But as you can see, this doesn't belong because this should respond to this vanishing point. It's not doing that right now. Um, also, somewhere down here, and same thing is going on here, this is like a giant, um, oh, I don't know, a very, very, very long tube-like shape. It goes all the way back to the vanishing point. Somehow you need to establish the length of this back face. Okay, so um, let's work on that. So this, this um, to establish, let's say we want the back face somewhere, somewhere or about this large, okay? So figure out how large you want it, match it up to the vanishing point. Oops, let's go ahead and get that in there. Okay, just trying to color this side. Okay, so this, we have the left side face of this rectangular prism here is in orange, the right side is in blue. All right, let's, uh, let's switch to blue for this vanishing point here, match it up to op opposite vanishing points, just the same way you did in two-point perspective. There's our bottom. Okay, let me just make this a little more clear by coloring this in blue. Okay, 
I'm going to make it a slightly darker shade of blue. Maybe that will help too. Okay, so we've got three faces here. And it looks extremely distorted, but that's the way three-point perspective is. So um, same thing is going on right here. Okay, this corner edge needs to match up to your vanishing point, and then you build it off of, of this one initial corner. So um, Lisa, I realize that three-point perspective is super confusing. I'm going to post another tutorial um, under this post. So um, please go through with your own pencil, follow along what I've done there, and um, hopefully that will make more sense. All right, quickly let's take a look at your bird's eye view. Okay, kind of the same thing is going on here. Some of these are correct. Okay, this one right here, I can see that's correct because you worked off this first corner that's closest to you. It matches right up to this lower vanishing point right here. Then you match it up to these farther away vanishing points along the horizon. Okay, so all of this is correct. Everything matches up just as it should. All right, let me color it blue. All right, so there's your first initial um, rectangular prism that is drawn correctly. Okay, so hopefully you can see what's going on here. This, um, I'm not quite sure what's going on with some of these. This one is is um, not correct. It's stepping out. This line right here, again, should respond to this vanishing point. Okay, so it would actually be curved or tilted over that way, and you're going to get a lot of distortion here. That's just the way it is. So, um, Lisa, please just go back through the tutorials and hopefully that will make sense to you. Start If you can manage to start from that, just conceptualize that edge that's closest to you. If you can match up that very first edge to all three vanishing points, then you should be all set after that because after that it's just kind of, um, just kind of matching things up. Um, but once you but you have to match up the very first one correctly or nothing else is going to work. So, Lisa, I hope this helped. And um, very good start, though. Um, very good start on these, very, these initial ones. So just build on whatever technique that you use to work on those, and you should be just fine. Okay, thank you, Lisa. Good work here.